Hi everyone, my name is Wushu Cho. My final year project title is Improved Energy Extraction in Tidal Color Technology Using Poo Poo Search Algorithm. This tidal current demand is put under the seabed one and not the common one that is placed at sea level. Extracting tidal current energy using horizontal axis tidal current demand is the most common method. The turbine blades rotate about a horizontal axis which is parallel to the direction of the flow of water. Another method is by using a vertical axis tidal current device. The turbine blades will rotate about a vertical axis which is perpendicular to the direction of the flow of water. In my case, I'm using horizontal axis tidal current turbine. As human population keep growing, there is a higher demand for energy. Renewable energy has garnered a lot of attention recently because they can be replenished naturally and it is cleaner as compared to non-renewable energy. Tidal power is an ocean energy resource that can be extracted to generate clean electricity. Tidal currents are driven by two different connected bodies trying to equalize their level differences. Hence, there will be a flow of water from the high pressure head to the low pressure head. It is this kind of water flow that makes the tidal current suitable for power generation. Tidal current technology is very similar to wind energy technology in which they are using turbine blades to harness energy from the movement of fluid. And they also have to obey Bat's law. Theoretically, according to Bat's limit, the maximum power that can be extracted from wind is only 59.3%. There is not any horizontal turbine that can capture more than 59.3% of the kinetic energy in the wind. This concept also applies to the tidal current turbine as well. So, why tidal current is selected in my FYP and not wind? Tidal current energy has greater predictability because the movement of masses of water depends on the lunar cycle, then repeats itself in a standard way. Wind energy is harder to forecast and it has a high degree of uncertainty. Aside from that, tidal power is more environmentally friendly and it does not produce much greenhouse gases and noise emission. Although tidal current moves slower as compared to wind, water is 800 times denser than air. This characteristic of water has a massive advantage in terms of power generation over wind energy. Therefore, the energy generated with the same speed will be higher in tidal current. Conventional optimization method like maximum power point tracking is a little bit lackluster as it doesn't react well with rapid changes. Aside from that, maximum power point tracking algorithm tends to oscillate at the steady state and this can cause a huge loss in power generation during operation. Furthermore, the convergence speed is also slower in maximum power point tracking. Hence, this cuckoo search algorithm is proposed. So, what is the relationship between this cuckoo and also the tidal current turbine? Are we going to put it into the tidal current turbine? The answer is literally yes. We are deriving cuckoo behavior into an algorithm and put it into our tidal current turbine system. This algorithm is inspired by the breeding behavior of cuckoo, in which they might remove the egg of others to increase the hatching probability of the eggs. Cuckoo search via level flight is actually quite similar with other algorithms that is based on animal behavior like particle swap optimization and colony optimization, etc. But cuckoo search is more robust because it is a population based algorithm and it exhibits elitism behavior in its selection process. The use of Levy Fry is to generate new egg is one of the most powerful features in Google Search Algorithm. The small jump from Levy Flight motion are interspersed with longer jump or so-called flight. The short jump motion will produce clustering while the longer jump will initiate new cluster. Hence, this algorithm can explore the search place at a faster rate. <coughs> the tidal current turbine is incorporated with the permanent magnet synchronous motor. The tidal current turbine takes in pitch angle and also the tidal current speed as the inputs. The cuckoo search algorithm is used to tune the pitch angle of the tidal current turbine in order to optimize its energy efficiency, either by tuning the pitch angle up or down. The power generation formula for tidal current is closely related to its pitch angle. The tuning of pitch angle is based on the feedback from the system, like the power difference, and also the speed of the tidal current. By using CS algorithm, the system is able to eliminate the problem of oscillation at the steady state. The convergence or optimization speed is two times faster as compared to maximum power point tracking. Although the behavior of cuckoo search is affected by parameters such as the discovery rate of worst nest and the number of nests, they have a subtle effect on the convergence speed. This tidal current turbine system is able to generate 295 kilowatt of power with this proposed algorithm. The developed cuckoo search algorithm is not limited in optimizing tidal current demand system only. It can be used to optimize other types of power generation as well. Thank you.